today I'm picking apples. It's autumn here in Tasmania and that's apple picking time. Now this particular tree are golden delicious. We grow quite a few varieties of apples though and I thought we might talk about a few of the ones that we grow and talk about their qualities and try and make a choice as to which is the best particularly if you only had the opportunity to grow one tree which one would you choose? The earliest picking variety that we grow is called Arcane. They have now finished cropping and have all been picked, but I did talk about them in an earlier video. Now this is Arcane, which is an early variety, and it's a great one to grow if you do want some nice early eating apples. They don't really keep very well, but look, eaten fresh, they're quite delicious and quite crisp and crunchy a white flesh smelling really nice now as they begin to ripen so they've been harvesting for a couple of weeks and will continue uh, well with the amount that's on here probably for another two or three weeks more we generally can't eat all that's on this one tree and often give lots and lots away with the apples that come later the ones that keep better we put into storage but these ones well it's a time to just enjoy them and let your friends enjoy some as well. Now, as I said, Arcane really just an early cropping variety. They come at the end of March here, which is the very beginning of autumn. And they only pick over a few weeks and they don't keep very well. They are the most attractive variety, I think, but because they don't keep, they're probably not the apple that you'd want to choose if you only grew one apple. But if you're able, like we are, to grow a few trees, Having arcane as well as the others is a really good choice because it extends the apple season, particularly the fresh apple season, which is always enjoyable. Now the second apple that I want to talk about is the Golden Delicious, which is the one that I'm picking here today. And look, it is a lovely apple. It is starting picking now in, uh, well, from say mid autumn uh, to later autumn it will pick. If it's picked earlier, like no uh, more color than this, it will keep better. If you let it actually stay on the tree and ripen more, it doesn't keep as long. It's a really nice crisp apple. If you haven't eaten Golden Delicious, they are really tasty and sweet. They keep reasonably well. So that's quite a good thing. As I say, picking them early, put them in some cooler location where they're going to not overheat and they'll keep for two or three months but they will get softer the longer that you've had them we often use these for drying and they're a really nice dried apple because of their sweetness don't need to be a big tree I keep this pruned down fairly uh, tightly and still get huge crops from it the third apple I wanted to talk about was this one which is the John of Gold and look these are a fantastic apple they're a delight to look at, beautiful apple. They also have great flavor. And that's one of the things that I really like about the John of Gold. It's a, not only sweetness, but flavor that they have. The crop, as you can see, is fantastic. This tree really loads up really well. And they pick about the same time as the Golden Delicious, hence that I'm picking them today. I am picking selectively. I'm taking the ones that have the most color the most ripeness off them today I will leave some for another week or two to actually ripen a little further before picking them you also need to be careful and selective when picking and ones like this that birds have been at you need to keep them aside for immediate use the John of Gold keeps quite well I find that while it does soften a little bit over time it doesn't go dry flowery like some varieties do uh, neither does it go rubbery so it just becomes a softer apple uh, the longer you keep it initially it is crisp but yes yeah, slowly softening but the actual keeping quality is quite good so again we can pick these now and eat them well into winter so that's a really good thing very versatile it cooks really well as well as the fresh eating 
The fourth apple I'd like to talk about is this one, which is the Mutsu. Now, this is a Japanese variety. Most people are not as familiar with this as they are with things like Golden Delicious and John of Gold. One of the reasons I like this apple is because it's not only quite tasty, but it's a very large apple. And so you've got a lot of apple there, very easily to work with. It's quite a good cooking apple and the keeping qualities are probably on par with the John of Gold as well. It's really starting to get a good crop on these trees and we've got two of them and so that really does produce a lot of apples. Initially these trees were slower to start producing than the John of Golds were but now that they've got underway they're really looking good. The taste of the Mutsu is a little bit different to most apples. You have to taste them and decide if you like them. Many people do like that flavour, but there's a few that don't. So if you're not sure, make sure you have a taste of a Mutsu before you decide whether that's the apple you're going to grow. They're not quite ready to pick yet. I would probably wait another week or two before I start picking these. So towards the later end of autumn, here in Tassie that you would pick these. Growing a number of varieties that actually space through the year so that they're not all ready at the same time is a really good idea. The fifth and final apple that I wanted to talk about is the Granny Smith. Now this is a well recognized apple uh, certainly in Australia if not most parts of the world. Most people know it as a green apple and that's certainly what it is at this stage. I don't pick my grannies until much later, usually the end of May or even beginning of June, at which stage they actually start to develop some color. They yellow up and become sweeter. Personally, I'm not a big fan of Granny Smith as a fresh eating apple. I find them a little bit too woody, but because they actually do come quite late in the season and keep right through until spring as a fresh apple. They also cook really well, so if cooking is your intention, grannies are great. And if you're able to grow more than one variety, Granny Smith is a great addition to that because it extends that season really late. So which one to choose if you could only grow one apple? Well, for me, it'd be the John of Gold. Simply because it's great taste, that it has reasonable keeping qualities, comes mid-season and is a delight to look at. Also, that it really crops well. I find it one of the most reliable cropping apples that we have. So, there's a few ideas. Look, if you're able to grow more than one apple, I would certainly be spacing an early one like the Arcane, mid-season like the John of Gold, and then a later season like the Granny Smith, and that way you'd get a three-step cropping across the year but if you're able to fit in uh, all five of these then you're going to have a nice variety to choose from.